If you've ever felt trapped by bad credit, you're not alone. Countless individuals have faced the frustration of being denied for loans or paying sky-high interest rates. But the good news is, is that there's a way out. This video is your ticket to a better financial life. We're here to provide you with actionable tips and tricks that can help you turn your credit woes into credit victories. Let's leave your bad credit behind and work together to secure you a more financially stable future. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Evan, I'm a real estate agent and mortgage broker, and today I'm here to answer all of your questions. So your credit score. To start off, it would make sense to get a credit report taken to see exactly what's bringing your score down. The big three credit bureaus are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Every 12 months, you are entitled to one free report from each bureau. I will link their websites in the description below, and once you receive your report, carefully look over it to see if everything makes sense and there's no errors or inaccuracies. If there are any errors or inaccuracies on your credit report, contact the credit bureaus as soon as possible. The process may take a little while going back and forth on the phone and sending all the information, but it'll be well worth it in the end. Having dings on your credit report can severely affect your credit score and having them removed can drastically increase your credit score very quickly. Another thing to consider is paying your bills on time. Your payment history is one of the biggest factors affecting your credit score. Late payments can stay on your report for years and negatively impact your score. You should know when your payments are due each month and you should even consider doing auto payments. So like in my case, if I forget, I'm covered because the auto payments are there to protect me. Reducing your outstanding debt is another thing to consider. Your credit score is also impacted by the total amount of credit you're using. It is recommended to use no more than 30% of your credit limit at one time. Continuing to pay off your balance regularly is also considered ideal for raising your score. If you must use large amounts of your available credit, please talk to your credit supplier to ask for them to increase your limit. Most credit card companies will just need you to update your annual housing income and the process can be done over the phone. Consolidating your debts is another great option to consider. If you have a lot of outstanding debts, it might be worth your time getting a debt consolidation loan so that all of your debts can be paid off at once. This will cause your total monthly payments to decrease and make the overall process a lot easier. Budgeting apps can be very helpful in improving your credit. Apps like Mint can help you have a better understanding of your finances, your assets, and your debts. You can view all of your accounts from their app track all of your subscriptions and bills, and even create a budget so you can start saving. You can also set notification reminders for bill due dates or when your funds are low. I highly recommend taking advantage of these apps because they are built for this. They are built to help you be proactive and on top of your finances. By taking control of your credit, you take control of your financial future. Every single step, no matter how small, counts along this journey. As you continue to take these steps, Keep in mind that you get more financially literate and also you gain the peace of mind knowing that what you're doing is counting towards something bigger than you. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then click the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.